right in the nose? Yeah. I want to tell him. I want to tell him. the news is riveting. I riveting. I absolutely cut. Now, what the boys are trying to say is that Parker Brothers Popeye, Cubert, and Pogger are not only available for the Atari 2600, but for the Commodore 64 home computer, Atari 5200, and ColecoVision. About as close to real arcade graphics and action as you can get. One thing I hate sets a pushy and outskirt. Popeye, Cubert, and Frogger. Also for all Commodore, Atari systems, and TI. Now's your nose. <laughs> all right, so everybody knows the Atari. 2600, right? Popular for famous arcade games like Centipede, Yars Revenge, and Pac-Man that came out in the late 70s and revolutionized the video game industry. But did you know that Atari put out more than just video games? Did you know that there were actually toys that were produced for Atari? That's right, from little PVC figures of all of your favorite video game stars, to plush dolls, and even to more recent lines that came out at the San Diego Comic Con a few years ago, Activision put out a line of three and a quarter action figures based off of some of your favorite games like Pitfall, Hero, Pressure Cooker, and Keystone Capers. All right, so let's take a look at some of the PVC toys that I have that were made by Atari. And we have Qbert and Slick over here to the left, Donkey Kong, Ms. Pac-Man, and Pac-Man. Now, all of these PVC toys were made from 1978 to 1983, and the main run of the toy line was produced from 1982 to 1983. So here we have Cuber on the right with Slick on the left, and Slick is probably my favorite out of the bunch here, because uh, he has his little uh, slicked up hair, hence the name. He's got his little I don't care face on. Uh, with his sunglasses and the little eyes, and he's really neat. And he's a bad guy in the uh, Qbert game, so if you don't know who Slick is. And Qbert's done really well here. You can see all the fur, and the nose is done well. And you can see the Gottlieb stamp on the back, which is the company that produced all of these PVC toys. And overall, the uh, Qbert PVC figure is one of my favorites. I really like displaying it on my desk just because of all the nice attention to detail, and it really looks true to form of the game, if not better, in my opinion. And then we have Donkey Kong here, which is a, another one of my favorite. Um, there's just so much attention to detail that went into these figures. Like, you can really see his personality right off the bat with the gritted teeth and the eyebrows. Uh, furrowed down with his big eyes. He just looks like he's ready to hurl a barrel down a flight of stairs or start rampaging all over the place. Uh, I like the gold bands on the barrel and he just looks really well detailed with the fur and you can see on the back you know he's got his big strong gorilla muscles and uh, even his feet are really well done. So it really gives the complete package of, you know, you can really tell this is a gorilla. You can really tell who this is supposed to be. There's no question it's Donkey Kong. And from the one side, he kind of looks happy. And then you turn his face and ah, he's all pissed off and ready to chuck barrels at people. So uh, another good figure. And uh, like I said, all these were made by Gottlieb, which was a uh, British uh, toy manufacturing company. And they produced these for uh, the Atari line. And here we have Ms. Pac-Man, who you can tell right off the bat, she has her uh, pink bow. And I always thought it was funny um, with Ms. Pac-Man, how aside from the bow, she has like one little tuft of hair on the top of her head. But beyond that, she's bald, so I don't really see how that identifies her as much of a female, because she's just a completely bald woman otherwise. Uh, but she has her high heels, and the gloves, and the bow, and everything, and the, uh, the eyes and the eyelashes, of course, really differentiate her, along with the lipstick and everything. So she looks good, but I always think these Pac-Man figures look weird with the arms and legs, because if you take all that away and cover them up, you know, it's still nothing more than just a round, bald head, so... Uh, I never quite got used to seeing Ms. Pac-Man or the regular Pac-Man with legs. But uh, now on to the regular Pac-Man, who I absolutely love here. He looks like he's just ready to, uh, you know, put on a show. Uh, he's got just a whole great tuxedo outfit where he's just da 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 just getting ready to tap dance all over the place. 
Uh, he's got his bow tie on. And uh, he's got the saddle shoes, which are kind of like Scrooge McDuck. And he has this great cane over here. Like he's got his pimp cane and uh, the hat and everything. So he is totally putting on the Ritz. He's like, hey, forget all about that crappy 2600 Pac-Man game. Well, yeah, go play the real version in the arcade. So, uh, yeah, this is a very bizarre figure out of the line. I like it, but it, it just looks crazy. So I always kind of imagined, like, uh, Pac-Man with Ms. Pac-Man here, and, you know, you have Donkey Kong moving in on Ms. Pac-Man, and she's out turning tricks, and he's like, hey, baby, what are you going to do for four bananas? And she's like, oh, my God, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't do those types of things. And then you have Pac-Man, you know, walking down the street, and he sees this going on. And hey, baby, is this guy giving you trouble? said, oh, well, well I'll, I'll have your money for you. I don't have your money yet. I told you to have my money by yesterday. But I don't have the money. Oh, my God, help, please. Bitch, taste the pimp hand. And then him and q -Bert and Slick go back to the club. Because that's how you got to take care of business, boys. So, guys, thanks for taking a look at me with the Gottlieb. A uh, line of PVC Atari toys. Uh, there's more toys than this that were made, and I'll do a few more reviews of them later on. So, hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Hey guys, if you like the video that you just watched, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you do the Facebook or Twitter thing, follow me at hashtag KingerRetro. See you next time.